Hi, I'm Chris Bird. And I'm Laura Lane, and we're from TTPS. And this is the play date where we show you the newest and coolest and hottest and funnest stuff. And we have got some really cool stuff for you today. I know, this table is packed. I'm excited. And a lot of this stuff is just coming out. It's coming out for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So you want to pay attention because you know what? Yeah. It is not too early to, oh, no. to start your holiday shopping. Yeah. I've actually already bought some Christmas presents. <gasps> I know, I know. It's just like, yeah, yeah, it's done. I don't have to worry about it. So, um, yeah, so where are we going to start? Well, I thought we'd start right here in the middle, get this Paw big guy Patrol, out of the way. Paw Patrol, he's on a roll. What? So the new theme with Paw Patrol is Ultimate Rescue. And obviously, if you are going to make the Ultimate Rescue, you need the Ultimate Fire Croc. <laughs> This, this is, is from cool. Spin Master. I know we actually saw this at Toy Fair when we, we did, and, and, and we, we didn't want to break it. Now <laughs> we it's, came it's close. For real, yeah, I know. <laughs> so it's okay for us to touch it and play with it. Um, it's fifty nine ninety nine for ages three and up. This is pretty awesome because obviously you know it's a fire truck. We roll the wheels. You can uh, move it around. Comes with a little marshal over here, but it does have space for storing other figures. Lots of different places on the sides here. Um, this part opens up so you can put some guys behind the wheels, have them drive around. Really fun lights and sounds. There's buttons, so of course there's lights and sounds, which I like. I think it plays the theme song. There you go. There we go. Yeah, gotta have that. Let me move him over here for a second because. This is pretty this impressive, is what you're about to see. Ooh, pop up, but I'm not done yet, because it's also gonna slide. It goes up to like three feet it's tall, which is like impressive. pretty amazing. And then when you get to the top, let me see if I can rotate this over toward you, because we've got a water, water. projectile right up here with three water projectiles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I put out the fire, so I can bring this back down. Put it right here. Oh, and there's also some space in here um, with some little label stickers yeah, that you, you, you do have to. show them? You know, well, this you is do my it big thing. You, you show, you show people things. There's some label stickers in here that you do have to put in, but it's kind of nice because it adds some nice little details in there. Um, and then we can put this back in. And on the back, woo, we've got another water projectile. Ooh, this is how your table. children are going to play with this. So you know, you could t it can take a lot of beauty. We've got one's... another water projectile. Oh, where's my Marshall? There's another space here. So Marshall can come in here and he's like, oh, I still got to put the fire out. Boom. So really super open-ended narrative-based play yeah, with the Paw Patrol the characters. The hose comes um, out. I'm not done yet, Chris. I know. I know. I know. There's more oh, on the seat. Oh, oh, my goodness. My ladder's trying to come out as I'm trying to. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to show it to <laughs> everything to you. We've got, I can't even see it. Okay. I gotta tilt it so I can find it. This opens up and there's um, space in here. Oh, for my vehicle. <laughs> It's on a roll. This is why we want, we, 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 we highly recommend you play with this on a floor and not on a table <laughs> crowded with other toys. And I'm not done and, yet. Uh, and I'm not done yet. <laughs> because there's also, but wait, there's more. A claw, the claw. comes out. The claw. The claw, the so claw can, decides. You know, grab and oh, capture. wait, that's something else. That's something else. <laughs> there's a lot of features there's on this. There's a lot of features. And you probably have nine bazillion uh, Paw Patrol <laughs> yeah, Paw characters Patrol figures, right? lying around. So, so this would be perfect because there's a It doesn't have to be all Paw Patrol. I mean, you could you could like yeah. take your adorables or your anything and or put anything. them put them in there. So um, just yeah. really super classic, classic play uh, from Spin Master 59 dollars Yeah, I like it. All right, so all we're right, going to go so off let's and get take this. Whoa, there we go. That's all right. Let's go take exactly. care of another let's emergency. Woohoo! Okay, so up next. If you're driving, yeah. This is this is called Mickey and the Roadster Racers Supercharged Steering Wheel. Uh, this is from Just Play. It's 1997. You're gonna see a lot of really great toys under 20 this year. Mm -hmm. Big thing to pay attention to. Yeah. Um, go ahead. We were we actually were talking about this. We yes. both had similar toys when we were kids, and we yeah. loved them. Yeah, I brought it in the car with me, and I would sit in the back seat and pretend to drive. Mine actually had. Um, this mine had like a screen, so I could like see a car moving on oh, it. I know. Mine was just I a know. steering wheel. Oh, but no. it, but again, you know, kids love to do what they see their parents yeah. do. And of course, Mickey and the Roadster Racers, really popular show. <gasps> so we've got Mickey phrases. We've got engine sound effects. So you can pretend like you're racing with Mickey. Got our little shifting gear here. Makes clicking sounds. Turn the wheel. Boop. That's very funny. That's very, it's very <laughs> funny because it's, it's actually knowing what you're doing. You've got a turn signal. I like turn signals yeah. on both sides. You, hey, the finish line is up ahead. The finish line and 
the crowd goes That's wild. Cool. So just really, really fun. Under $20. Mm -hmm. This is one that kids are going to play with for a long time because yeah. it's just such a classic play pattern. Uh, yeah. We really love this. Uh, again, all of these are really good from, from Just Play. Mm -hmm. Lots of Mickey and the Roadster Racer stuff. Okay. Yeah. Crash. <laughs> These new sensitive oh, mics no. are picking oh, up no. how the toys go crashing onto the floor. <laughs> All right, so we've got something that's soft that's not going to go crash. These are the Fingerlings Hugs from Wowie. You remember Fingerlings came out, it's, how long has it been? It's like two, last year? It was just last year. Uh, I can't even believe it. Was it was just last I can't year. Even believe it. So they were on your finger and they were interactive. You could, you know, play with them, turn them upside down, all that fun stuff. Now you can wear them and hug them. Flip them around, do all kinds of fun stuff because they're stuffed animals. I'm gonna turn them on. This is more like a this is more like a thireling. This would more go like around my thigh <laughs> or something. <laughs> so they have these Velcro hands, so you can wear them around your neck or you know your thigh, whatever you want to do. I love these because I just feel like they're so there's just a little bit more that you can do with them. Um, you can well, you can see in the review, you can swing them around, hang them upside down to get some fun sounds. Woohoo! Oh, wait, come on, wake up. Do the switch on the bottom. There we They're go. already on, but you have to press their ear to, to start them. And they'll actually repeat what you say. So if you press and hold their ear and talk, they're going to say a fun phrase. We call that Hello! A... Yes! I love that. Yak back! Is that what you call oh, I it? I didn't do it. Well, that's a, that's, a, it right? that's a toy industry term for the, for the thing, because there was a thing called Yak Back in the 90s, and they called it a Yak Back feature. So yeah. these are just really super fun, <laughs> uh, really super cuddly. And I, you know, here's I know. One, another thing I like about these toys, these stuffed toys with electronics in them. It's super cuddly, even though there's a battery box inside. So yes, it's really it's super so cuddly. True. Um, some of the times it feels like there's auto parts in there, but this yeah. one's really, really super cuddly. I love the, I love the pink. I love the finish on the plush. Um, really, really cool. These are these are great. Yeah, he gives kisses. There's so much fun to do. Go see the full review because obviously you need a little more space if you really want to get into it with these guys. Um, but they're just so cute. And I they're love only them. thirty bucks. They're yeah. only thirty bucks. So it's yeah. a lot of play for thirty bucks. Yeah, these are for ages four and up. I really like these a lot. All right. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to some other fun plush that we've got. We are in love with these because yes. they've got sequins. Sequins is the secret word. S-E-Q-U-I-N-S, -E not sequence, sequins. Yes. <laughs> um, these are actually, this trend is very popular. I think Huge. it's like mermaid sequins is what it's really called. Okay. It's like double double sequins, flip <laughs> it's, sequins. It's like, what is it really called? That's just what people call it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what you've got with these shimmies from Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company is they come in different animal styles and they've got one color of sequins. But when you brush your hand over them, I totally oh, love this. Let's do another color. It's like it's like okay, here we are, like grown ups, and uh -huh. we're just fascinated by this. It's that's ah. such a classic magical change thing, and you can use ah. them. You can use them. You can draw. You can sure, like yeah. you, you can draw a little bit. So oh we'll yeah. Somebody can, wrote hello or hi on this one, and I messed it up. I'm sorry. Oh, oh well. That's, but yeah, you could try to write a message on it. Sure. But it's a, and it actually is very tactile, very fun. Yes. Just back and forth, all day long. I'm mellow now. Mm. I don't need to get upset about anything. I've got the sequins. <laughs> These do come in different sizes. These are the bigger sizes, and they have smaller sizes too. Um, the bigger ones are 19.99. So I like these a lot. These are great. These are yeah. great. And they're super cute. And you know what? They're just they're great play. And they're also great room decor. Mm -hmm. And just really, I don't know. If you're stressed out, just reverse your sequins. And <laughs> there you go. So, But this technology yes. has been not just used here. We're seeing it in outfits. And we're yes. seeing it yes. in a game. Yes. Which we kind of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Nope. <laughs> um, this is a game. This is, this is uh, yeah, nope. It's from the Wonder Forge. It's 19.99. It's really designed for 17 and up. Yeah. Um, but we brought it along because it's stylistically consistent with the sequin reversing That's correct trend that we're talking That's about here. Correct. But again, the game is part of the part of the thing. And and Laura, just tell them a little bit of how you play. So it's basically one person um, picks a experience card and I have some suggestions here of, of different kinds of cards that you would you would be drawing I've been skydiving um, I've taken the test to find out what my Hogwarts or what Hogwarts house I belong in I flunked a class um, so you would have a couple of these in your hand you would pick a card and say so, so I would say I've been skydiving then Chris and the other players would have to work together to say hmm well 
Uh, do we think she's been skydiving um, at work? No. On vacation? Maybe. Uh, never. And then they would, you know, pick one of these card, these little uh, cards down here, and then I would say whether it was correct or not by using this game box. It's by swiping yeah or no. So, for example, so okay, um, I'm not gonna look. So Lori, Lori's been skydiving. I'm gonna say never. And I'm gonna say, yeah, I've never been skydiving. Right. So, so it's just it's just you. really it's well. and there's also a little bit of a wager you get these wager chips um, you can say you know do you want to stay in the round or go out of the round because if you if you go if you go in you have the option to like score the points if you don't want to play you don't have to so you know you can read the instructions if you want to play right. it's a fun game it's a fun game so would you say I flunked a class you are a teacher's <laughs> kid, so no. No, I never flunked yeah. a class. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, but again, really, really fun. Again, a lot of these games are are just. This is just a sort of a gimmick. They're really great conversation starters. Yeah. They're good in the family. Uh, good for friends. You know, I, I worked years ago with a guy by the name of Brian Hurst, mm -hmm. who developed Taboo and Out of Context, oh, yeah. and he was he was a great guy. And he basically said games like this are social lubrication. It's a good way for people to talk and get conversations yeah, going. Course. So that's sort of fun. Of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this next toy is Little Gleamers. It's from Mattel. It is so cute. There are actually three different versions of this. This character is called Anglo. Um, I'm going to turn it on because what it is, it's got this fun little tail. It's, gonna talk it's to got. You. Oh, sorry. Hi. Let's hang out and play. I love it. I love the sound of his voice. So the tail lights up, and the tail is a really huge part of the play. Um, obviously, you've got this little hangout mode where it's got sensors in its head and in its tail. It's going to play with you. You can do fun different things. Um, but you can also press its nose to change to like a light party. You can clap and the light or the lights in the tail. Go to the beat, play your favorite music. It's also will um, go to the beat of your voice. Or you can go to game mode. And there are a bunch of different games that you can play with the tail, kind of like catching the lights in its tail. So you have to press the tail button. Huh. Yeah, that's a game where you have to catch the kisses, not the farts. It's kind of silly. Uh, it, it is silly. 1999 again. Yeah. A lot of play for 1999. Yeah, and it's just really cute. Um, we have some cheat codes because we got some. Spe we were, you know, special influencers for you guys. Um, so if you want to make it sing "Happy Birthday," you just press its tail 20 times in a row like this. It's gonna fart in between, so get ready for that. <laughs> That's adorable. I know. I want it's to make really a cute. joke, but it's too cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cute. It's really cute. And there's a lot of interactivity with it. Um, if you look at the instruction sheet, there's just, just a lot that it can do because of the sensors and the games. It's just really cute. And the, the, the phrases, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun for kids to see all the different things it can do and discovering its personality. I think it's just adorable. And the ears move and the arms move. It's, and it's pretty it's solid. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, nice, it's nice and solid. Mm -hmm. so, so it'll sit on a table, it'll yeah. sit somewhere, so yeah. it's, you don't have to worry about it falling over. So, yeah. again, 1999, really, really cool. Yeah. And then, okay, then. you're going to want to pay attention to this because okay. we think that this is going to be one of the hot toys of the year and one that's going to be really hard to find. Yes. Um, these are called Hair Dorables. Uh, they're also from Just Play. They're $12.99. Mm -hmm. They just hit stores. They are selling out. So this is one we always say, if you want it and you see it, buy it. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. So it's a little bit, this is what the box looks like when you get it. It's basically an unboxing. You don't know which doll you're going to get. There are 36 dolls to collect. Each one comes with a whole bunch of really cute accessories. Um, it's all about, obviously, hair play. Look at, check out this girl's well, hair. Well, their line is big hair, don't big care. Big hair, don't care. That's right. <laughs> so should <laughs> we open adorable. this one? Yeah, we might as well. Okay, so let's, we, let's see. Sh let's show people the whole process. So. It's got a little plastic sheet on mm -hmm. the top, so we're going to open that. And that's a way. Oh, oh, oh. oh is ooh. that a collector's that's guide? That's a collector's okay. thing. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it tells you who comes in series one so that you can keep track of who you're getting and who you want. I really like the illustrations it's of cute. these dolls. It's cute. I, I, I'll bet with it, if this is really a successful, we'll see some animation based on yeah. this. So on the top, it says there's a tab that says pull to open. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pull it. Okay, it goes right down. Goes right down, and then we're gonna open, 
open it up because it's awesome. Velcroed ah, together. That's so cool. And you've got all of these oh di gosh. little different things. Is a stage, of course. And yeah, like a little play area for the doll. And then we just have her. to discover all of the different areas to open up. Did you? Okay. Did, did you? You've done this, right? No, I haven't. I'm oh. not. Do you want me to open the no, doll? Will you open you, the accessories? You open the doll. I'll open the accessories. Okay. Accessories are on that side. Dolls on this side. And each of the accessories, it's funny. They come in these little. This is cool. <gasps> I can see her hair. Oh. So each of the accessories is this like, you go curl. Yeah. You go curl. Um, Let's see what's in hair. So, and you're gonna open it up okay. kind of like a different thing. Let's see if we can get this to open. Kind of reminds me of those open like up. food things that you dip like the pretzel sticks in, those fun dippers. That's what these are. This, this <laughs> like, it is like that. Um, so we got, we got, cool. uh, we got a, a little <gasps> sticker. And we got some boots. We got an accessory, oh, accessory awesome. boots. I think there's 10 accessories with <gasps> each one. So there's a lot of stuff. That Ooh, oh, she's cute. she's Harmony. Her favorite color is Midnight Blue. Her claim to fame is making music. And her motto is, sing it, girl. I like her braids. I love the color of her hair. And, you know, when you're done, play. Play mm -hmm. can, everything can go back inside. But, of course, of course you've also got a stage for her. You can display it. Um, there are 36 dolls in all in yeah. the first collection, so um, that's that's pretty cool. I They're like $12.99, so what's 36 times 12? Uh, it's almost $400, so if you're going to get all well. of them. <laughs> You know, so maybe pick and choose, but um, they're Mom really... Mom and Dad could get you one. Grandma and Grandpa could get you one. Your aunt and uncle could get you one. But that's true. <laughs> they're really cute, great, really contemporary faces. Yeah. Very, very original design. We really were excited about this. And of course, you know, one of the things people talk to us about all the time about, well, why do you need a package anymore? Because everybody's buying everything online. A, not true. And B, the play experience with this starts right with opening the package. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really fun. So we got to show you a little bit of that. That's cool. Um, so let's give some stuff away. Okay. Our favorite thing to do. Okay. Incoming. Bring it in. Whoa, oh. whoa, sorry. Walkie chalk. This is That's really cool. cool. You can you can draw standing up on the... On. Barbie beekeeper. This is her new career. Really, really hot right now. Okay. Oh. Oh, the fingerlings. Jungle oh, that's gym. Jumble game. Mega constructs. Uh, what's, who's oh, this? Oh, that's this, a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon um, thing. Togetic and Dragonite. It's a challenge set. Oh my I gosh. Said oh. Wrong. Whoa. Ooh. The Sea Patroller for Paw Patrol. Which is really cool because I like this one. Yep. we couldn't give you the uh, the fire truck because we only got one of them, but Whoa. stay tuned. We'll probably get more of them to give yeah. them away. So, okay. how do they get, what is the sequence that they use to get these when, remember, it's sequins? Okay. Go to tgbm.com and click on the play date where you'll find all the rules to enter. It's always free to enter and you have until 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, August 30th to enter the secret word sequins. S-E-Q-U-I-N-S. -E Don't put it on our YouTube channels or anywhere on social media. You have to come to ttpm.com to enter that secret word for your chance to win this prize pack. And you can see reviews of all of these at TTPM. And we're getting to the end of the summer, so you're going to want to pay attention mm -hmm. as all of the hot new toys start yeah. showing up. Uh, thanks for playing with us today. We will see you next time. Bye.